June 15th, 2023, I'm still plugging my ears to keep a train of thought. I'm still trapped in the back of the row house in Washington, D.C. So it's still going on. Um, <clears throat> I go into the other room as soon as I do. They pile in from cubby holes, which you hear very loud and clear. Um, so loud I know where every cubby hole is, okay? And then they jump down, usually wearing shoes. There's always a few, usually who are female. It's not just the one that uh, legally resides in this property, which is an ISIS terracel within an ISIS compound by the White House in the capital of the United States of America. Okay, so the females usually race barefoot. The men, there's so many different creepy men that come in here. We have Ukrainian military that comes in here. United States enlisted armed service members come in here. They have died, I've witnessed them die. I've witnessed United Kingdom enlisted military members die in here. I filmed one. No matter what I film, no matter what I have testified to, and so on and so forth, the house is still yet to be raided. There is um, easily, okay, over half of the traumatic events that are terrorist activity, terrorist terrorism that I hear occurring in this terrorist compound i cannot talk about publicly on the internet okay this must get over it must get over how active this is on a 24-hour basis this compound and how serious this is that no matter what i go through i can't talk about it no matter what i've witnessed under these floors half more than half of it i cannot talk about publicly Okay, um, but just let me do what happened this morning because I've been sworn to secrecy for so many days about so much stuff and then when I can say anything, it's only a selected little bit of this or that that I just don't know how to sort through it anymore and this is when I'm so grateful that the special ops are here and have been here because I really don't have to. But the report that I'm making is very legally significant, so I want to do my best, okay? And I want to get it done now. I don't want this to be hanging over my head all day or in the next hour to make this report because I have to survive in here. This is a deadly, lethal, violent terror cell where I regularly smell dead bodies regularly here and witness homicides. I don't know what to call them because it's actually combat. And I regularly smell chemical explosives. I have enough to manage in here. So let me get this done and do my best I can. I think it's gonna be two parts. But this morning I documented it. I'm just gonna do a summary. I go in there, one comes in through a cubby, you hear it. I had been in there for about one minute, then presto. Now I'm hearing terrorists. There was nobody in the fucking place whatsoever, okay? The terrorist starts going where I said it did. I'm not gonna repeat things for my own sake, okay? Then it went out. It went and did all the stuff it does up there, stuff and things. I'm not describing this. I have done due diligent work on describing what they do, and I don't have to. This place is under surveillance by actual special forces, okay? They're U.S. and they're allied from other countries. They're special ops. I don't have to every time describe every last thing these fucking maniac violent terrorists are doing. I just have to say I witnessed... The terrorists enter into floor three, run around over my head, right? I already said it, this is, I'm not doing this. And then it goes downstairs after it does its terrorist stuff and things on floor three. It went, I don't know where it went on floor one. It d disappeared. You did not hear it, which sometimes you do, okay? So just to mention that. And then it went to the front door, it went to the porch, it went back up, it went back to the bathroom, it did more stuff and things with bombs and dead bodies up there, then it went right out the hatch, 
right over my head, okay? All right, and I believe that this hacked phone did get, I, I, I listened to the film. I heard the hatch, I'm pretty sure. It's, from what I heard on the film, it's, let me just tell you, in real life, it's four times louder. When you come in here and one of you stands in my quarters and one of you opens the hatch, you'll see how loud this was and there'll be further evidence to the hardware that was hacked on my phone. It is so loud. They did not even care about their hatch doors. And if anyone could hear them, they are so confident that this is perfectly okay. They are sanctioned by the U.S. government and the U.S. cooping military to just do this. This is perfectly okay. The town, I can, I totally understand. No one wonders why the civilians are classified as domestic terrorists because anybody walking past here, cool and dandy with this, is obviously a domestic terrorist themselves. Obviously an enabler an enabler which means they are a very dangerous individual trying to do dangerous horrible things to other people by using these types of people who are harbored and protected in this compound to do it okay so that was this morning okay i cannot go in that room without them piling in last night they did the same thing now there's only certain parts of last night i can talk about and that is it that is all there was so much more that happened but i can't talk about it but i went in there last night after being trapped in this bedroom for the entire day and morning yesterday i went in there last night and as soon as i did one came in from the closet cubby one came in from the alb mob one cubby and one came in from that alb mob i mean from the cubby, I said it wrong, and one came in from the cubby that I just filmed today, okay? They all came in, and as far as I could tell, there was at least three up there, and they were wearing shoes, and the only thing, other thing I can say is that the one that came in from the closet kept standing over my head, okay? And this is part one, I'm gonna do a part two.